The Golden Tree Story written and illustrated by Sami Khiem Once upon a time, in a far village called Mirka, on a mountain near the forest of Trika, there was a family, a mother and her three boys, who are living in a poor hut. After the death of their father, all what was left for the mother were her boys, Tom the oldest, George the middle, and Sam the youngest. Tom the oldest brother was very lazy. He dislikes doing anything to anyone. He spends all the day laying down or sleeping. George the middle boy is the one with muscles. He was too proud and too selfish. He likes to have everything for himself and never share anything with anybody. Sam, the youngest, is thin with an ugly flat nose, but he's generous and has a loving and caring soul. One day, the mother got sick, so she had to ask Tom to bring some firewood from the forest to warm their house during the cold winter nights. The child went to the forest, searching for firewood. On his way, he saw a very big tree with old color, like gold. He was surprised and taken by its color and size, and he thought that it would be a good tree to bring back home. When he decided to begin chopping the tree, he heard a weak sound coming from the other side of the tree. He turned around it and saw a very old, thin, short man sitting there and repeating the same phrase. <coughs> Can you please, son, bring me some water from the near fountain? I'm too weak to go there. The child looked at the old man and replied back, pretending to be tired. <sighs> Sorry, I walked for a long time. My house is too far and I am very tired to do anything. I just came to sit and rest here near that tree. <sighs> there he calls, of course, was the child is too lazy to help anybody. He's barely searching the firewood because he knows that it will be a very cold night. When the child saw that the old man went away, he began chopping the tree. He tried and tried, but the tree didn't get even scratched. He was exhausted and soon stopped and decided to end his journey and went back home. His mother was very sad because her son didn't bring any firewood. So she asked her middle child to go bring the firewood instead. The middle child went directly to the wood after telling his mother that this task is very easy and that he is going to return very soon with a lot of wood. The middle child found himself taking the same way, ending near the same tree and as his older brother not being able to ignore it. The middle child stood in front of the tree and yelled, You are all mine. I'm going to cut you down and break you to small pieces. And again, a weak voice was heard. Hello, son. Can you spare only two small pieces for me? I needed to kindle the fire during this cold night. <coughs> I'm too old to cut a tree. The middle child looked at the old man and told him in an offensive tone, Go and cut your own tree. I will not give anyone a single piece of my tree. The old man looked sadly to the boy and left slowly disappearing between the woods. The boy rubbed his hand, grabbed his axe, and hacked the tree with all his power. 
but the tree stood like stone and nothing even the hard axe hits were able to cause a single furrow in it after about two hours the spear was able to take over George mind understanding that it will be impossible for him even with his big muscles and sharp axe to cut the tree down George went back home dragging his failure and sadly told his mother that he does not have any firewood to throw in the stove also tonight the mother shed warm tears unlike the cold air which was blowing through the old door cracks when sam saw his mother's tears he puts up his old jacket grabbed his axe and went searching for firewood through the scary and foggy forest sam walked for hours finding himself near the same golden tree once again the trembling voice of the old man was heard help my son help i'm freezing the voice said sam saw the old man and without thinking he took off his jacket put it over the old man's shoulders then he said don't worry sir take my jacket and i will light a fire to warm up the old man replied thank you son you are a very nice young man please accept a simple gift from me as a token of appreciation to your generosity take this axe it is a special axe that can easily cut off any tree sam thanks the old man and started to chop the golden tree using the old man's axe cutting tree was like slicing a piece of butter the external bark of the strange tree turned to be formed of pure gold and the core from the finest type of wood sam was very happy because he knows that this will bring the joy to his mother and his brothers that night nobody went to bed hungry or cold because sam was dragging a full load of firewood and gold since that night sam has always his magic axe that no tree can beat this was his trophy for his kindness modesty caring and sympathy the end the golden tree written and illustrated by sami khiem